All right. Also from D, I can't connect my printer. Uh, okay. Did I assign that last ticket to myself? I hope I did. Oh my God, I hope I did. Assigned to me. See, see, it's very important. Even I get sidetracked sometimes. All right. So I'm going to make sure this time. I, I think I did it. I think I did it. Assigned it to me. Okay. Very important. All right. I can't connect my computer. I, can, I, can't, I, can, I can't connect my printer. Sorry. I work remote and need to connect my printer to a laptop. But when I do, it says printer. It says printer printer offline so there this is a really good one because this could be many many different things that could be causing this so whenever you see something like this obviously get more information but here with just this sentence we can get a lot of a lot of information of what the issue could be before we even contact the customer before we even contact the customer so however you want to reach the customer you can use it through the system you can send them an im instant message whatever the the chat a program that they're using or you can call them talk to them so i'm going to assume that i'm talking to them on chat so for example just just any chat you know system that we're going to use. we're going to be talking to them like that we're going to assume that and the first clue we got here is i work remote so this person is working from home obviously or anywhere else but at their office and need to connect to my printer need to connect my printer to a laptop so we know it's you know they need to connect printer to a laptop but we don't know whether it's a printer at home or it's a printer uh, at office we still we don't know that but when i do it says printer offline so the first thing that can happen let me see if i have any printers installed first of all printers and scanners when you are when you are when you are at the office you have most likely shared printer that is installed on your computer whether it's laptop or desktop it doesn't matter it's going to be an office printer that's going to be shared and for those reasons since it's shared the best way to share something is to put it on the network sort of like the best way to share something is you know with multiple people is through the internet and you can assume in this case and compare a network a office network you know all the computers that are connected in an office sort of like internet but in the end internet is a is a, just a giant network so the best way we know that you can access all this information on a, on a network the best way so the best way for those reasons is to have a network printer so it's just a printer um in a, sitting in the middle somewhere or sitting outside in the middle of the office cubicles or there is a printer room and there's a printer inside but everybody is connected to it over the network and for those reasons if you are trying to suddenly use the printer it may say offline why because you are working remotely and you're no longer on that network right but of course whenever you connect over vpn chances are you can connect to that same printer but that defeats the purpose that defeats the purpose of you working remotely because you can you cannot access that you know because the the printer is at the office you're working remotely you're anywhere but the office so it would kind of show up like in this here and these are just some microsoft built-in stuff but it would you know it would show up in here under printers and it would say offline Okay, now let's get back to our ticket. And it says here, for the other reason, need to connect my printer to a laptop, but when I do, it says printer offline. Of course, when the printer is offline and it's a local printer, so if this is a printer connected directly to the laptop, you know, with a USB cable, you know, you just plugged in, plugged in, you know, with a USB cable, that is exactly what we need to check first is uh is the printer connected at all is the printer connected with the usb is the printer connected uh is is printer connected to the wall outlet is it getting power is it is it getting powered up 
right? That's what I'm trying to say. Is it turned on, right? If it's offline, it could be simply turned turned off. It's not it's not on, so we need to turn it on. It could also be a Wi-Fi printer that's at home. It could be a Bluetooth printer. You know, it could be any of those things. And for those reasons, it could say printer is offline. So those are the first things we need to check. Make sure that it's powered on, that there's a light on, there's, you know, that for sure that everything is connected. You need to have patience with users and politely ask them to check all the connections, all the physical connections. And, and, and one by one, and I'm telling you, one by one, is the USB cable connected to the printer? Is it connected to the printer? Is it connected to your laptop? Is the power cable plugged in? Is it, is the computer, is, is the printer turned on? You know, did you press the power button on the printer? You see any lights? Is, it, is there any lights? All of these things. I only opened up Google because I thought I was going to show you USB cable, but you guys know what the USB cable looks like, you know, because everybody uses USB cables for something on the computer, even on your, even on your uh, smartphone. So that's the first thing we need to check. And then the next thing is if everything checks out, then we can check whether the driver is installed new printers new printers with windows 10 operating system most of the time now i'm just going to open up a device manager real quick while i'm talking new printers usually will get automatically installed if it's a local printer local printer specifically not network printer network printer you need ip address for it or a host name will automatically install. Once you plug in your printer into your computer, it will show up under the device manager as a printer that's installed. And it will be under imaging devices, just like a webcam. So it would show up under here and it would automatically install it. Now, if you see it in here and there is like an exclamation mark or something like that, then you may need to update the driver. And for those reasons, may show up as offline in here somewhere you know let's say any of these are the printers the user wants to use and it says offline so my point is reinstall the driver just for example uh we're going to go to properties of this just the web i know it's a webcam but it would be the same thing if it was a printer you see it's a it's a image of the printer whatever it's the same thing for any devices here and then go to update or you know reinstall the driver or you can even delete it you can even right click it's not doing it right now because I don't have it open as an administrator but you can right click this and delete the device and then let it come back let it reinstall it's good to have the laptop connected to the internet to the internet why so we can download the newest driver for that printer if need be so those are the main reasons for a local printer not working. Obviously, as I've mentioned previously, if it's a network printer that is located into the in, in the office somewhere, then you know you need to check to make sure that you know. Well, first of all, if you're remote, you won't be able to access it. Uh, and second of all, if you are installing a network printer, you need to get an IP address and then configure that. And then you can add a printer through the system here. Just add a printer. Add a printer. And it's going to go through the motions of installing a printer. And then you will give it, a, give it, a, get a chance to put in information that you may need for that network printer or installing a local printer. You can find the driver in there by specifying it. I'm just going to get a drink of water. My, my, my throat is getting dry because I have a, uh, my uh, central heating is blowing hot air onto me directly. So I'm getting dry. Well, this thing is thinking about it. 
So, and, and this is just one way of doing it. Once the computer kind of looks for a printer and it can't find one, it's going to say, oh, I can't find it. And then you can click here. The printer that I want isn't listed. And you would select that. I'm just going to leave it at this one way. I've made a few videos on how to install a network printer. So if you want to check that out, you certainly can. So I'm just going to leave it at this one method on how to do this, this one here. And then if a printer issue comes up again, then I'll show the other one. Come on, sorry guys. It, again, this is I, connected to over Wi-Fi, as you can see on the bottom here, and it's not the best uh, Wi-Fi connection. Eh, I used to have it connected directly, but I recently uh, got a uh, fiber internet, and it's a different modem, um, different uh, uh, different uh, router. And the router is located differently where I can't have, the, the cable is not long enough to plug in directly is what I'm trying to say. So I'll have to rectify that. Okay, so here it is. Um, this is what happens when you select on that and you get a pop-up and then you can, you know, browse to see if you can find the local printer that is on there. there you can type it in. This is a network um, connection. So if you type in, you know, backslash, backslash computer name, and then type in the printer name or something like that. This is an option of how you can, you know, add a printer. Uh, most likely what you will see is add a printer using TCP IP address or host name. These are the most common type of printers you will see in a business environment when they are connected to just local network, just like any computer that's inside the cubicles. Any other computers that are inside the computers are using the same type of uh, network, which is, you know, TCP over IP. And you just need the IP address or the host name, which is also known as computer name or workstation name, or whatever it is. Uh, but you can add a printer certainly using those things. And of course, if it's like a Bluetooth or wireless or network uh, discoverable printer, you can also select that and add it here, or you can add a local printer uh, with manual settings if you want but most likely you know once you select add a printer using tcp ip address if it's a network printer the printer itself will be queued or pinged if you will it would say hey this computer here wants to add you and then the printer is like oh really and then it can be set up so that your computer will receive a driver automatically sent by the printer directly so that's also possible anyways I believe we've covered the majority of the things that could be wrong, and I think this is a really good starting place for you to uh, kind of think about all possible issues that may be going on with not able to print, install a printer. And uh, now we're going to go back to our ticketing system and note all of this. All right, so in this case, since we've talked about a lot of different things we could have done, we're just going to say that we've, we're just going to assume that we have resolved the issue. We're going to say uh, configured printer tested with user. We're, going, we're just going to leave it at this, you know, because there are way too many things that that could have have gone wrong or been that need to be fixed so try all of those things and i could guarantee you that one of those things will resolve the issue unless you know <laughs> unless somebody literally broke the the printer unless they dropped it and it's physically broken you know then then replace the printer obviously and i'm going to for a reply to customer so this was an internal note that we did we got an internal note in here and that's fine configured printer tested with user we don't necessarily have to get into super detail here uh, because you know if it was just you know if it was just a plug in or turn on this type of thing um, if, if it was what i'm trying to say is if the issue was something that's very technical and doesn't come up often that's when it's good to get into details of what caused the problem but this is just a printer right this is just a printer so we're going to just say configured printer because it's part of installing the printer to configure it or however you want to word it uh, you can uh, you can just say that you've accomplished what 
the issue was we accomplished your goal in the sense that you've resolved the issue and again you know printer it can be only those things and it's just part of installing and configuring a printer there's no need to get into super detail now if i fix the program and i say i had to replace dsdll and i had to go in and register it to the registry editor then then you might want to specify that so i'm going to say we leave the same thing for reply to customer and then i'm going to say as in complete i'm going to close the ticket 